Thanks to its beguiling mix of cultural delights, ancient architecture and seemingly endless beaches, Croatia is understandably one of Europe's favourite holiday destinations, popular with backpackers, families, cyclists and sunseekers alike. However, it never feels overwhelmed by the tourist industry. Even during the popular months of July and August, there are still enough places off the beaten track, islands, quiet coves and stone-built fishing villages that make you feel as if you're visiting Europe at its most unspoiled. The country is rich in natural beauty, boasting almost 2,000 kilometres of rocky indented shoreline and more than a thousand islands, many blanketed in luxuriant vegetation. Here are 17 things not to miss in this spectacular country. Alfred Hitchcock raved about them, and you'll be bowled over too, especially now sunsets in Zada are accompanied by the complementary sound and light effects of the famous Greeting to the Sun and Sea Organ art installations. Even the briefest of trots around the battlements will serve as a breathtaking introduction to this ancient city. A bewitching sequence of foaming waterfalls and turquoise lakes hemmed in by forest-clad hills, the Plitwitscher Lakes National Park is the country's biggest single natural attraction, with some justification. Croatia's most exhilarating long-distance hiking route takes in mountain ridges, dense forests and awesome views. Delicately poised between medieval port and upmarket tourist resort, Ravinia has managed to preserve its character better than anywhere else along the Istrian coast. Spacious Venetian-style houses and elegant piazzas lend an overridingly Italian air to the town. Varaždin is one of the best-preserved Baroque towns you're likely to find anywhere in Central Europe and is well worth a day trip. These easy-to-explore, largely car-free islands offer great hiking, sandy beaches and plenty of peace and quiet. Imperial Rome's greatest gift to the Eastern Adriatic, this awesome arena still serves as the venue for unmissable summertime concerts. The Dalmatian coast is often best enjoyed from the water, and what better way to see it than by taking a leisurely paddle? Just across the Pelyushats Channel from Kortula is the Pelyushats Peninsula. It's an exceptionally beautiful place, with tiny villages and sheltered coves rimmed by beaches, and although it's an increasingly popular holiday area, development remains low-key. Always a hotbed of cutting-edge culture, Zagreb has burst confidently onto the European arts map with this exciting building. Stone houses and Renaissance palaces help make this town as restful a spot as you'll find on the Dalmatian coast. The swankiest resort on the Adriatic is full of temptations, whether you're a culture vulture, Mediterranean foodie or cocktail bar cruiser. Beautifully unspoiled and pitted with a wealth of bays and coves, the island still has what it takes to enchant the seclusion seeker. Skrudinski Book is one of nature's most unforgettable water features, a 500 metre sequence of 17 mini cascades spilling over barriers of limestone sediment, behind which lie pools surrounded by reeds and semi-submerged forest. Taken over by the townsfolk centuries ago, the Roman Emperor's Pieda Terre now forms the chaotic heart of the modern city. The straggling village of Tosteno is an essential day trip destination thanks to its tranquil Renaissance gardens, 